In this video, various types of supports and reactions developed at those supports are listed. Number 1. Simple support. The end of the beam rests simply on a rigid support as shown in the figure. There is only one reaction force. That reaction force is always normal to the support. There will not be any restraint from the support for the rotation of the end of the beam. In other words, there is no moment resistance at support. These type of supports can be seen in bridges, ancient stone temples and also in temporarily constructed structures. Next type of support is roller support. In this case, beam end is supported on rollers. In this roller support also, the reaction is always normal to the support since rollers are free to roll along the support. In idealized condition, rolling friction is neglected and hence there is no resistance in the line of support. The ends are free to rotate also. Hence there is no resistance to movement in case of roller support. We can see this type of supports in bridges and in mechanical components which are provided with roller supports which roll between the girders. Next type of support is hinged or pinned support. In this type of support, the position of the end of the beam is fixed but it is free to rotate. At injured support, the reaction can be in any direction which is usually represented by its components in two mutually perpendicular directions. This type of support does not provide any resistance to movement. In other words, it permits rotation freely at the end. Therefore, there are two reaction forces in case of hinged support. This type of support can be seen in bridges, flyovers, etc. Next type of support is fixed support. At fixed support, the end of the beam is neither permitted to move in any direction nor allowed to rotate. Hence, support reactions are a force in any direction and a resisting moment. Reacting forces in any direction is represented by its components in two mutually perpendicular directions. Therefore, there are two reaction forces and one moment in case of fixed support. This end condition may be achieved by taking the end of the beam considerably inside the support. So, these type of supports are most commonly used in RCC buildings and steel structures etc. These are the various types of supports and support reactions. In next coming video, we will see types of beams which are classified based on types of support conditions. If you have any doubt or any suggestions, let me know in comment section. Please like, share and subscribe to Civil Today. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.